if you look at that fact pattern, you say, okay, that's what happened when 4 million manufacturing workers lost their jobs. That's actually a much better sign of what's going to happen when the 3.5 million truckers and the 2.5 million call center workers and the over 10 million retail workers uh, suffer from the same sort of displacement. Now, the conservative counterargument to some of what you're talking about would be, right, all these people went on disability, but they were able to, meaning that a lot of people were able to find a social safety net. They've been reliant on that social safety net. That hasn't actually rebuilt the forms of social capital necessary to have functioning societies. You've seen People who are supported by the government, largely, who are still getting addicted to drugs, people who are, who are committing suicide at record rates, who are staying unemployed for years at a yep. time, and who are staying in towns where presumably they really shouldn't be staying. I mean, there are 7 million unfilled jobs, apparently, in the United States right now, and there are a lot of people who are out of work. And people, as you mentioned in the book, are basically staying where they are. Is the incentive structure maybe misaligned because of government intervention into the system? 